All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next gentleman has been on our show before. He's going to be heading out on tour, uh, which is, to me, one of the smartest things I've ever seen. Let's welcome back to this program, Joey Fatone. Joey, how are you, buddy? Good, Mike. How you doing, man? I think you going out on tour right now is one of the smartest things I've ever seen. I would imagine you and I have to be similar in age. You're probably a little younger. But I went, took my wife to go see uh, the New Kids on the Block tour when it came here. And it's basically, okay. it's just a, it's like one of those male strip shows where the guy, the guy, guys go out there and dance and sing and the girls just throw themselves out of my wife wanted Joey McIntyre to make eye contact with, with her so bad. Uh, all, I mean, it, it, that, it, that must, you must have had the best life. Uh, it was uh, highly entertaining. I will say that in that sense, you know, do, doing this thing with AJ is definitely going to be a little bit different. I don't think we're going to be. I mean, unless AJ decides to take off his shirt, but that's what he's going <laughs> Do you have a, uh, a wife or a girlfriend? I have a girlfriend. Yes, I do. So I single no is wife, what no I wife. hear. I hear single is for you. Hey, you, no, no. <laughs> you, you <laughs> no. can't be an international boy band sex symbol and be tied down to one woman. It's impossible. Uh, you know what? It happens as you get older. Just like you said, you know, now we're around the same age. Yeah. You know, your body tends to get a little bit slower and you kind of go, ah, I think I'm getting old for a lot of this crap. So you gotta, gotta just, you know, you gotta pace yourself now. This is true. Sometimes like you have to decide whether you want to go to Carabas or you want to have sex because you're not doing both in the same night. No, you can't. Yeah. No, because you know, one, one's going to not be good. <laughs> one's one or the other. Ruin the other one for sure. Uh, you and AJ McLean who was in the uh, Backstreet Boys team up together. How does that start? I know you guys are all kind of friendly with each other. In fact, that show that I was at for the New Kids on the Block, you popped up on that one too, and it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen because you showed up on the on the uh, under stage dressing camera, and you just popped in. It was hilarious. Uh, but yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. But but how what how long have you and AJ been tighter? Uh, have you had a good relationship, or are you just both into the same kind yeah, of Yeah, the cool thing. Yeah, the cool thing about it was is we actually I did a show, kind of came up with an idea, almost like a Rat Pack idea uh, back in the day. Gosh, it's been a few years now, probably about five, six years, even a little bit more. But it was myself, AJ from Backstreet Boys, Nick Carter from Backstreet Boys, and Wanya Morris from Boys to Men. We did a four-night thing in Vegas to where literally it was kind of a Rat Pack where we were busting each other's chops, but also singing each other's songs. So I've had a few ideas, and actually I started doing other private events where me and AJ have done a couple of shows together. And I was like, you know what? Maybe we should do something like this. It was going to be something kind of fun. And not too long ago, we were in Tampa, and yeah. we did a show out there uh, right around the time that they had the 90s con out there. We did a 90s kind of show, and, and people loved it. People thought it was great. It was just fun. I mean, the cool thing about it is I'm not trying to be like flashy or showy. We don't have like any dancers, but we have a live band. And we kind of like tell stories, but also have just fun with the audience. It's very interactive what we're doing. And we're trying to come up with even more ways to be more interactive. And again, for us, we're not trying to like do arenas or anything like that we want to do kind of theaters and something that's a little bit small and maybe get to see, you know, certain songs that, you know, AJ always wanted to sing. We'll never get a chance to sing. He could do it on this stage. You know, uh, a lot of his new material, it's almost like, you know, when you have comedians come out and they, you know, they put out the new material in different clubs, kind of similar in that way, in the sense of we're going to try some new stuff and some things might be great and some things might suck. Yeah, that's what you but do. So far, the greatest thing, yeah, the greatest thing about it is, is, is things have been very positive. We've had a lot of fun doing it. And it's like, why not? It's one of those things that it's exactly when you say, like, just why not do it? You know, I feel it. like I was at the Tampa show yeah. because I watched so many people Snapchat that I've seen so much of the show on Snapchat that you guys really did look like you were having a ball. Oh, it's a blast. It's a blast. And that's the thing. I mean, we, we really want to kind of just have fun with it. So we didn't know the the, the magnitude of when we, we put these tickets on sale, how actually kind of quickly they went. Which, yeah. You know, kind of excited about it. I uh, had the privilege of hanging out with one Chris Kirkpatrick several times. He is one of the funny. I would say he's on the list of one of my top 20 favorite human beings. And uh, the last time we were talking and your name came up for some reason, he was like, here's the thing with Joey is that people don't understand. Joey can really sing. He's like, we all can do it. We all can sing. and We're in a band, but Joey can really sing. And he never actually gets to go out there and show people his voice. So this is another opportunity for people to see a different side of you. Yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's, again, that's the fun thing about it. I've done so much in my career to where this is kind of just something that I, that, you know, I always wanted to do and just had a thought of, I'm, I'm, I'm always, I'm not a, like a really a writer. I'm more of a performer. I love yeah. performing. I love performing. What so is your, what is your favorite cover to sing? Like you do your songs and stuff, but if there's one where you're like, all right, I'm going to show them what I got, what cover right. is your go-to? 
show them what I got. It's not even that. It's just a, I don't know. I do a lot of fun songs actually in the show and the shows that I have done, uh, like from Walk the Moon. You know, Shut Up and Dance is always a fun song to, to do. Um, I do actually a swing version of Tearing Up My Heart, which is very interesting. <laughs> That's cool. Which is a lot of fun. So again, I, I, we try to do different things where we try to get a little bit of a twist on songs. Uh, you know, I'll even do I want it that way. You know, it's a lot of times when if, if sometimes if I'm not doing the show with AJ, but again, this is what the fun part is. You know, you get to hear some of these songs, but they're sung by either myself, that's a Backstreet Boys song, or an NSYNC song sang by a Backstreet Boy. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. When, nothing was better than when I saw Elton John and Billy Joel sing each other's songs live. I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, that's again, that's another thing. It's a special thing. It's just cool. It's just fun. It's like you would never think in a million years that would really ever happen, but it's it's happening. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I don't think I'm supposed to like you as far as the cool factor goes because I'm a man and I'm 52 and I'm Italian and I'm from New York. Blah, blah, blah. I love I love Backstreet Boys. I love In Sync. I love uh, One Direction. I, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm sucked into the into any song you could sing along to. I think is great. Plus, I have kids now and the kids uh, love that kind of stuff for the second time around. So it's been great. These guys are out together. A, a, AJ McLean and Joey Fatone. They're going to be doing a tour that's going to have three stops, I believe, here in Florida. Fort Lauderdale on March 28th, uh, March 29th in Orlando, and uh, March 30th in Jacksonville. And you're you still out? Are you still in Orlando, Guy? you in that area? I am still in Orlando, man. I, I lived in California for about three years and saw state tax and went, uh, forget that, and came back to Orlando. <laughs> yeah. I, I, hey, I, I have a couple. Yeah, of- I, uh, I like it. I love it, man. I yeah, love it. I have a couple of questions that um that I don't know necessarily you would bring up, but I'd like to ask you. In your in your tour, what was the country that the girls loved you guys the most? The country? Yeah, like when you travel around, um, like are you amazed when you get to Japan first, and they're screaming? Yeah, but, but back in the day the fanatics were really in Europe and Germany. They were really very, very fanatic. Like they would like and then Spain would like either rip hats off you, any jewelry you would have, they would try to rip off. I mean, if you don't know that kind of crazy fanatic, those were the ones where we were kind of scared a little bit because we didn't know what was going on. Again, obviously we're older now, a little bit different. I'm not sure what that would be like. Hopefully not as crazy because that would be really weird and awkward for grown men. And hopefully they're grown women and they would know how to contain themselves and control themselves. I don't know. I would but, like that. Uh, I would like know, that for five minutes, yeah. just to walk from point A to point B and have women rip things off me. I think I'd enjoy that. But you've probably been through it so many times you're over it now. Sorry, say it again? I, I said I would like to have that opportunity to walk from point A to point B and just have women rip my clothes off. I think that would be wonderful. But you're, pro- <laughs> you're probably over it by now. You're like, all right, it was cool the first three times. Again, like I said, as you get older, you just kind of go, okay, I think, I'm, I think I'm good now. I think I'm good. Plus, you're probably like, hey, give me back my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It, ha- it actually happened one time. I was in Spain. We were walking through a crowd, and somebody grabbed my hat, and I was literally like, wait a minute. I was pushing people. I was like, stop it. Yeah. It's a Superman hat. I just got it. Where is it? <laughs> I got the person. though. I found them. They were literally were grabbing and trying to run away. It was crazy. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, in your travels back in the day, not now, ever, ever swing a mother daughter threesome? No. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but don't, no. like when we're kids, these are things we all think about. One day I'm going to be famous and I'm going to do this thing. Of course, right we there. all think about that. But never, our band was never really like that. What? Like thing. what? Like getting, really like, that time. like getting like girls? Sex, rock and roll. No, no, like sex, drugs, and rock. It wasn't like, you know, yeah. It wasn't like that. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, I've met you a couple of times. You're one of the coolest down-to-earth guys. One of the great things I've ever seen was when you were at the uh, – years ago at the DeBarlow event, and uh, they were you were up there in the DJ booth, and they played some songs, and you were up there singing along and doing all the moves, and I was like, that's a guy who gets it. That's a guy who knows that he's had a good life and a good career, and look how happy he is. So I'm glad you're still out there entertaining your audience. The uh, shows again in Florida are the 28th, 29th, and 30th of March. Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, and Jacksonville, but then also California, a couple of dates, Boston, Newark, New Jersey. So uh, I bet yeah. this, this thing blows up, and you'll be announcing a whole new leg after this. Well, yeah, we're we're excited because we're we're going to be uh, hopefully announcing a couple more a uh, couple more dates actually since it happened so fast. Like I said, uh, tickets are, are going pretty pretty darn quick, and they're almost sold out. I know three almost three of the sh- three of the shows are already sold out. Yeah. Um. So we're just excited, you know. Again, we just we love to to kind of have some fun. Hopefully, people will enjoy the show, and we can bring this around to other cities. Well, good. I uh, I know you were just here, but hopefully on the uh, on the on the next leg, you swing back through Tampa, and uh, I will let my wife go, and I will not go because I can't stand watching her 
look at you guys <laughs> like she wants to see you naked. It bothers me a lot. <laughs> Joey, uh, we, we won't we won't do that. We won't do that. But if anything, you can always put a picture of my face on your body uh, at night and just pretend. Just pretend. Well, uh, let's see what happens. I'll swing <laughs> that tonight. Joey, thank you. I appreciate you getting up early and good luck with the <laughs> tour. Thank you so much. Have a good one. See you, brother. There you go. Joey Fatone.